I've had a chance to play any game at all. Where we left off, I vaguely remember, uh, I'm supposed to be kicking the lady out of the town. But there's people who want to be talked to. I don't like the idea of keeping watch on her, but I don't see that I have much choice. My first priority is keeping Alicia safe. She doesn't look like she has any ill intent towards us, but the most disturbing thing about humans is that you never know if someone's a scoundrel just from their appearance. She's been making a huge fuss about all the nature and the landscape like they're somehow extraordinary. Strange girl, if you ask me. Notice my controller's buttons are mushy today. I think it's just because I haven't played in a while. I'm sorry, but would you mind if I stayed here a little longer? I've always dreamed of a place like this. A dazzling landscape, like something out of a fairy tale. Oh, that's the lady I'm supposed to be kicking out. Sorry, are you training yourself up? Whatever you're doing, you sure look like you're brimming with power and energy. Is it that you fought something in the ruins? She sure is pretty. I understand that you want to be friends with her, but still. Come on, Sorry, forget about entertaining that guest of yours and come pickle boar hunting with me. At the bottom of the mountain is the human's capital city. I imagine she must have come from there. So you found that girl somewhere in the ruins, huh? I wonder if what she was doing there. No one else over there. It looks like in order to continue on with the story, I need to actually chit chat with everyone. Could be wrong, probably just had to walk up to the door. Gramps Thunder is something special, isn't it? I heard a great boom all the way from over here. So about that girl, is that your type, sorry? Aww. Water. Huh. There's an action thing. Can you believe it? The land below is so steeped in ma malevolence, the rivers and springs are too poisoned to drink from. It sure sounds like a different world compared to life here in Elysia. What's that? It's in times of peace when you should be training yourself up to prepare for disasters. You never know when one might come along, after all.
Actually, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Although I'm looking at the map, and there's a star on the map, so I'm probably supposed to go to the star, unless that's the save point. forgot about that. Hey. Hey, wow! Is this crest what I think it is? Yep. This is the mark of the shepherd. I knew it! The chosen one who communicates with the seraphim, controlling their incredible powers as if they were his own. The Shepherd! <laughs> Sound like your kind of thing? Maybe. I always thought that Mankind's Savior would actually look a bit more imposing. Be silent, Seraph Beast! I shall not. Hmm. <laughs> Excavated relics aren't play toys. True. She certainly is taking her time. I'll see what's up. You're the only human in here, Sori. She can't see us, so I'd imagine she thinks you're mighty weird. I suggest you do what you can not to act suspicious or make her nervous. Though I imagine she's plenty discombobulated already. Alright. Um. Okay, that's the map. Cool. Nope, I don't want to do that. Okay, cool, but I don't want to do that. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. I wanted to put the gloves on. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> Enjoy yourself? I sure did, but it's weird. I felt like I was being watched the whole time. Uh, uh. Shall we eat? I'm sorry. I feel like I'm going to faint. Let's head to my place. Gosh, I hope we didn't worry him. Hmm? Oh, uh, nothing. It's not like I was worried, he says. Welcome in. Hey! Hmm? So then, what's your hometown like? Well, I'm from the capital, Lady Lake, in the Kingdom of Highland. Lady Lake? Like in the Legend of the Sacred Blade? You've heard of it? It was in the Celestial Record! The legend says the Lady of the Lake guards the Sacred Blade, and the one who draws it becomes the Shepherd, right? Yes. It was a lively and bustling town, blessed with bountiful water, rich in festivals and fine drink. Wait, was? Well, it used to be. 
Things must be hard for folks in the world below. Below? The land that lies beneath the mountaintops. I've never left home before. You've always lived here by yourself? Sounds to me like you're the one who's had it rough. <laughs> oh, let me help you get ready for your return trip tomorrow. You need anything? Bread, rations, stuff like that? That'd be great. If you have any tools or a sleeping bag, it'd be great too. Gotcha. Well then, first we'll need to do some hunting. I'll be your guide tomorrow. Thank you so much for everything. Yeah, tomorrow, after tonight. <laughs> Sorry, Good morning. I had to go there. Good morning. Come on! Hurry it up, Mikleo! We ain't got time to mess around! Yeah, I'll leave in a moment. <sighs> Gramps gave me all kinds of things to take care of. I'm gonna be pretty swamped for a while. Bummer. Well, don't you worry about me, at least. So, Ray, Gramps only wants... Yeah, I know. Mikleo! Maybe later. Sure. Good morning. You sleep okay? Yeah, like a log. Been ages since I've done that. All right then, shall we? The prickle boars lurk to the left of the entry gate. It's an ideal hunting place. Got it. I'm really sorry, Sori. I'd like to help, but she can't see us. We'd only startle her. Is she from the capital? If she is, you need to pass on all the wisdom we shared with you about nature, Sori. Don't worry, she'll be fine in your hands, Sori. After all, you are the one who brought her here, so it falls to you to look after her. She, I think she just phased through those people. Well, I guess since they can't see them, she can just walk through them. Kind of an interesting concept, I suppose. Let's walk and run and run and walk and walk and run and run and walk and walk and run and run and ooh. There's a Yep. There's a prickle boar. It looks tasty. So that's one, huh? Their meat is easy to preserve when smoked and super tasty. And the skin has all kinds of uses too. I almost feel sorry for it. Want to leave? No, my spirit is prepared. Besides, I can't get this sort of experience back home. Okay. Here we go! Hey, pretty smooth move. Thank you. You're rather capable yourself. No escape! Hang on, everyone! That's that! Okay! Guess we need a few more. I don't see any around. You'll find him if you look. Focus, guys! Ready? Strike! Be gone! No escape! It's over! 
Have I truly been of use? Focus, guys! No escape! It's done! It's done! Go! No escape! Hang on, everyone! No escape! How's this? Hmm. I think we've hunted enough. Let's head home for the day. He just wants another night in his room with her. That's what it is. So that's how they were supposed to head back down the mountain today. But I suppose if they're going to smoke the meat, it's going to take at least hey, 12 hours. Hey, how far is it to Lady Lake? Let's see. I expect about two or three days. Really? I had no idea it was so close. But the forest at the base of the mountain is surprisingly easy to get lost in. Must be the power of Gramp's domain. I should save just to make sure that I don't have to redo that again. Well, with that said, we hunted Cricklebores, and he had a night with this girl, so I'm going to call it a day. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and if you want to see some other interesting stuff, i got a couple other YouTube channels. You can go check me out at Dustin the Gunslinger, where I play around with some guns, and I shoot stuff, and you can check me out over at These Happy Eats. That's where I cook stuff. I'm... I post more frequently to these happy eats than anything. And then, of course, if you want to know what I'm doing on a regular basis, which I don't post regularly to it, though, it's L E N A R K S O U D E N. You don't have to go there. Seriously, there's like nothing there. But no, these happy eats and Dustin the Gunslinger, you might be interested in. Thank you very much. Catch you guys next time.